So NASA is planning to send astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972. I got a look at a new lunar rover that might help them in their lunar mission. Take a look. It's been five decades since humans last paid a visit to the moon, but NASA plans to change that with an upcoming lunar mission, which calls for a lot of new technology. Jarrett Matthews, CEO of a startup company called Venturi Astrolab, says he's hoping to be a part of that. Companies like SpaceX are making big landers that can deliver lots of cargo, and we want to be the next link in that transportation network. So we want to be the, the local delivery service, the, the UPS of the, of the lunar surface. So we developed a lunar rover called FLEX, or Flexible Logistics and Exploration, that can carry not only astronauts across the moon's surface, but also plenty of cargo. It's uh, got four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering, um, and then it also has the, the wheels attached to these limbs, and the limbs allow us to raise and lower each wheel independently. Which means the rover can squat down and pick up things more easily and navigate rocky terrain. Matthews says Flex is in the running to join NASA's 2025 Artemis mission, which plans to send humans to the moon for long-term exploration. Of course, we had to take it for a test drive. It can go up to 11 miles per hour, the current speed record on the moon. You just pull backward or push forward, and then uh, right to left to steer. And we headed out the door to drive it in a specially built moon yard. A rover is crucial for helping with things like setting up habitats, but building one here on Earth is no easy feat, according to Madhu Tangavelu, a professor of astronautical engineering at USC. He points out the moon's environment is vastly different with extremely cold temperatures. We are talking about minus 260, 250, some of the coldest places in our solar system is right out there by the moon. And um, to deal with that, you have to be really prepared and test out all the systems. Tangavelu says engineers must also take into account lunar dust, which sticks to everything, and the moon's gravity. It's one-sixth Earth's gravity, which makes it very light. and. Uh, you can't travel fast. And since this rover must last for more than one mission, Matthews says it's equipped with solar panels to collect and store energy in rechargeable batteries. It travels much like a car, but it can also move sideways and go into zero point turn mode. It'll allow us to spin perfectly about a point. So, you know, these two modes would be really useful and, uh, you know, if you're trying to get into a tight parking space. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're trying to move across the moon, which we may see the Flex do one day. So this rover is one of several that are being developed by various companies, including General Motors, and they're all in this race to try to be part of this mission. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see which one makes it.